October. And uh, to be honest, it's still kind of up in the air, but I think I have the topic that we want to touch base on right now. And that is a living wage. Now, I see a lot of people out there, Facebook, things like that. It's nothing but, uh, oh, hey, you know, this McDonald's, they want to have everybody get raises up to 15 an hour. Now, a lot of the big time factory workers and carpenters, construction workers, blah, 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 so on and so forth, they're making real big money. Now, a lot of them are saying, well, okay, that job's only for high schoolers. Uh, that's not meant to be a career. Well, what the heck do you expect me to do, okay? I, uh, for years, I tried to get into a steel mill. For years, I tried to go on ahead and uh, get into the uh, operators. Now, thankfully, I have a good paying job with great coworkers. Now, I'm a... Uh, I'm 27 years old, I just turned 27, and just recently got my own place. Moved out at the age of 19 after I graduated, spent the summer at my parents, and I moved out later on in the year, probably want to say towards uh, August, right when the first semester of college started. Now, went to community college for automotive technology, was uh, pursuing being a mechanic, that didn't work out. Now I did finish college. I went through one year, got my tech certificates, and uh, figured out that that field, you know, it's not really a, a set career. It takes a while to get your foot, or uh, to really get your foot in the door, start sharing technicians, at least with the um, the experience I the experiences I have. Now, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, you're complaining about low wages. You're complaining about benefits, things like that. Why don't you get a trade job?" It's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. For a while, I was trying to get into the steel mill. Oh yeah, just get into the steel mill. Okay, they have 50 open or 50 openings and like 5,000 applicants. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Chances are slim to none to get in there. It's still worth a shot. Still worth trying because you might be one of the ones that are picked. One of the 50 that's picked to get a uh, job position. Now, I firmly believe that. No matter what your job is, McDonald's, grocery store, gas station attendant, I don't care. I mean, I really don't care, you know, who works what. You got to do what you got to do to survive. Now, the problem I have is, you know, people who are up in, like, the steel mill attacking the smaller guys. Like, oh, no, you just need to get into this job. Easier said than done, like I said. Now, I don't want to talk in circles, but a lot of people out there, uh, homeowners, the newer generation, it's hard for us to freaking own a home. And the reason being with inflation, uh, jobs, things like that. Now, if the uh, like grocery stores and all these jobs that people look down on, it's a damn shame that anybody would look down on anybody for just working to freaking survive. They should at least get a wage to where they can, you know, afford to uh, get a nice apartment. You know, nothing like a you see in like TV shows and everything where it's like all ran down, beaten to hell, roach infested, things like that. No, a nice apartment, be able to pay their bills and have some a good amount of money saved up to where they're not going to be stuck renting. Now, that's been my experience. There's a lot of people that would rent. They are literally stuck renting. They can't save money to go on ahead and get a house. And, you know, they're, they're living paycheck to paycheck. It's hard for people to survive. And they have to rely, like, once a year when these steel mills and everybody holds their freaking application processes, you only get one shot a year. And you're competing against, like I said, like 5,000 other people for smaller uh, openings. And it's freaking ridiculous. Nobody should have to wait year by year like, oh, maybe this year I can go on ahead and save up for a... Uh, maybe this year I can go on ahead and get into the steel mill shouldn't be like that now okay yeah the labor force it's gonna have to stay competitive things like that to where you know they get wage increases more than likely the mill is to where they can keep their people or their people so like oh i'm working too hard here i can go over here take a small pay cut and be done with it then that might screw the steel mill have a balance paying minimum or paying minimum wage paying a living wage ain't gonna hurt anything my firm belief Oh, the cost of living will go up. Well, let's not let it go up. I'm not too educated in terms of financial st stuff, things like that, but you got Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, all these freaking multi-billion dollar companies, 
a lot of the bigger companies, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, uh, Toyota, multi-million dollar worldwide, Fortune 500, whatever the hell you want to call them, they can afford to give good pay raises to where, hey, you know, uh, this person, they are not worried about if they're going to have, if their landlord's going to jack the rent up, if this is going to happen, this needs fixed, that needs fixed, things like that, that they can afford to rent a nice house or rent an apartment. Personally, I, I'm not a big fan of renting, but I'm not going to judge anybody about what they have to do. I'm not a fucking, I'm not a freaking judgmental person. I'm trying to keep the smart down because I know there are kids on YouTube just like there are kids on TikTok, blah, blah, blah. Now, sorry if I'm talking too fast. Uh, don't really have a lot of time. My phone memory's only got like 15 minutes worth, so you got to get this uploaded and blah, blah, blah. Now, where was I at with this? Uh, oh. People should be able to afford to live in a nice apartment, live in a nice house, whether they're renting, owning, renting out an apartment, who the heck knows. But they should be able to have that option available to them to where when they start renting, it's not like, oh crap, now we're stuck renting. We barely have a couple hundred dollars at the end of the month. It's going to take us years or our whole lifetime to be able to save up for a, a trailer. That's common, but, you know, it's, it's a start. And I grinded like heck to get here. Now, everybody should get a living wage be able to at least be able to afford a nice little house to rent or buy or have a nice apartment to rent and I think that it would have a lot more morality boost and if uh, they aspire to make more wages make more money have better benefits then they could pursue you know like the big unions and like uh, the operators the laborers steel mills things like that so like the big factories that'll pay them a lot more but they could throw in their application for the year. It's like, ah, oh, crap! I didn't get it this year. I gotta wait till next year. But that's okay. I'm the job I'm or the job I'm working at now. I still have all my bills paid. Instead of like fifty to hundred bucks, you can have maybe like five to eight hundred bucks at the end of the month to save up at least. I think with that being said, I don't. To me, it doesn't really feel like it's gonna impact anything too greatly. And there's so many corporations out here that are making billions off the little man, and they're trying to sit there and say so stupid stuff like. Oh, well, we can't afford to give you pay raises. We can, we can give you a, a pizza party. Oh, wow. Pizza party. yippity freaking do. Does that put clothes in the kids' backs? Does that put food in their bellies? No. A lot of companies will think make you think that that's all they can do. When that is truly a lie. Now, that's my message to everybody. Is just stop looking down on each other. When it comes to uh, people out there who are like, Oh, hey, just get a union job a lot of people don't have the connections you do your dad probably got you that job your uncle probably got you that job because I highly doubt you fresh out of high school with no work experience going up against thousands more applicants who were had past experience and who are still in the workforce you know that you got the job above them a lot of times that's how it worked around here with people I went to school with they had the connections and they're Dad, mom, uncle, aunt, grandpa, they got him the job. There's no way in hell. I took welding classes. Oh, that guy, how the hell did you get a job over him? He could weld with his damn eyes closed, and he's been doing this for 10 freaking years before he wanted a scenery change. Before his uh, shop shut down, his factory shut down, so he had to have a change of scenery. So, that's, uh, that's a little weird. And it's those same people that'll sit there and talk down to people who are working, like I said, gas stations, grocery stores, things like that. I've worked in a small town shop, great job, you know, a couple people, you know, it didn't pay the greatest, but it was still something. Now, the job I worked before that was Dick Sporting Goods. That was my first job. And I will not dog anybody who freaking works in retail. That's coming from a factory worker who's making decent wages and, you know, seeing all this stuff, posting all over the internet, oh man, we need this much money an hour. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for saying that. I'm damn no you guys do need it you guys do put up with a lot of bullshit now don't let anybody else get down on you don't let them get in your dang head we need to have a freaking change when it comes to how we treat each other instead of looking down on one another how about you uplift them 
Stop looking down on them to make yourself feel good. Stop bashing other people because they want to make a change, that they want to do better for themselves, but they can only do so much. Like I said, you're going against like 5,000 other people for a job position. Now that you don't get that position, they have to live in paycheck to paycheck for a whole year until you get to that point again where applications open back up, which is usually the following year. Nine times out of ten, at least as far as I've seen. Now instead of them saying, oh crap, I gotta live paycheck to paycheck, we don't know if we'll be able to eat half this freaking year because of the poor wages. Instead of hearing people say that, we should go on ahead and I would I would much rather freaking hear people say, oh shoot, you know, I didn't get the job, but you know, the job I have is still really good. You know, working at a grocery store, working in gas stations, working uh, liquor stores, um, a small town shop as a service tech. We just need to make a freaking change to this, and we need to do it now because things aren't going. Things aren't looking up. They're not looking as great as what like uh, the news will tell you, which all the channels nowadays are like, oh hey yeah, uh, CNN said this, Fox News said that. Well, I'm sitting here like screw both of you. You know, <laughs> both of you guys. I get to see the lies. I'll watch both of you, but I'll come up with my own conclusion right then and there. I'm not gonna let them tell me what to think or tell me what I should and shouldn't know. But yeah, instead of looking down on one another when it comes to, I got off topic. I'm sorry. I do that a lot. I got a very bad attention span. I'll just be sitting here and I'll say, "Oh hi, what's that?" And then I'll just doze off into space for like 45 minutes, not realizing my phone's recording me. Hmm. But yes, coming from somebody like me, and you'll get to know me a little bit at a time, just like I want to get to know everybody else out there. I want to bring people together instead of tearing them apart. My message to everybody today, yes, we do need to make a change. I am fully in support of a better wage for everybody to live comfortably instead of paycheck to paycheck, regardless of what lifestyle you choose. Renting, owning a home, renting an apartment, Nobody should have to live paycheck to paycheck and then wait for a better opportunity to come along for them to give their shot like another year down the line. That's complete BS. I don't believe in that. I don't freaking support that. But when it comes to supporting better living wages, all for it. I will forever be all for that. Any kind of argument that gets thrown against me, it will change my perspective, but regardless, I will always be for that. I'm sure many other people are going to be for that as well. They might be mad that like being a steel worker or an iron worker, Oh shoot, they only get paid like four dollars or they're like right behind us eight dollars an hour, you know, eight dollars less. Well you still make eight dollars more. So what are you complaining about? They're making a living wage for uh, being a homeowner, for renting, and they're building a freaking life. Quit looking down on them, quit being nothing but a little brat, a silver spoon brat. You know, instead of trying to tear people down, how about you try to lift them up? Try to inspire them, try to tell them they're doing a good job, because not a lot of people do that nowadays. And it's it's rough out there. Everybody will tell you. Anybody that says it ain't rough, they're, it's either silver spoon or they're lying. Trying to make themselves feel like that they're a Billy Badass because they made it at that period of time. Because I'm sure before they did struggle or they watched people they loved and no struggle. So instead of tearing each other down, uplift each other's spirits, um, I know everything nowadays is rough. It's hopefully going to let up soon. I don't know if it will. I'm not seeing any signs of life myself, but hopefully it all will. If you do have a friend, um, someone who does understand the hardships, and you know, drop your story in the comment section below. Go on ahead and you know give your input. Always want to hear new inputs. Always want to hear uh, different perspectives because that's how we all get to know each other, understand each other, learn, grow, love one another. The more we get to know and see it, we don't have to see eye to eye, but we should understand each other on the points that we come from. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go on ahead and hop off. Um, I have this video saved, and I'm going to try to go on ahead and find a thumbnail for on there. It might just be going like this. Well, you never know. I'm a little random here and there, but uh, go on ahead, everybody. Keep your heads up. Keep your heads up, and let's go on ahead and change this world. We can all do it. All we got to do is come together. Gain an understanding of one another instead of tearing each other down, support each other. Now I'm going to go on ahead and hop off here and get this uploaded, get the thumbnail ready. Take it easy, everybody.